Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back to a fun blog hop. This is part of the holiday cards blog hop by Pinkfresh Studios, where we all share holiday cards using their products. This is a Christmas stamp set that I will be using today. It's called uh, Joy and Cheer, and there is also a fun coordinating die for that. And I'm going to demonstrate today how this works together to create a beautiful shaker card or a window card if you want. So I'm going to run this die with a piece of white cardstock through my big shot. And this is going to cut out a panel which is the standard card size 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half. So it's going to cover up completely your card front. But it also cuts out this window. And this is where you can fit the rest of the images that come in the stamp set. So I don't know if you can tell at the moment, but uh, there is a space where you can stamp the garland. There is a space where you can stamp the tree and the Santa. So I'm going to use my Misty here to do my stamping. I'm going to bring in my stamp set and I'm going to place on top of uh, this panel the Santa and uh, the tree, the Christmas tree. It's really easy to line up your stamps with that uh, cutout, but there is also a diagram at the back of uh, the packaging in case you find it confusing. So I'm lining up the tree and the Santa and there are also a garland and some lights for the Christmas tree. I am planning to do some embossing for those, so I won't stamp anything else for now. I'm going to stamp everything with black uh, ink and uh, I am using an ink that is uh, alcohol marker friendly since I'm going to color everything with my alcohol markers. And I'm also going to stamp the three gifts that are included in the stamp set as well again with black ink and I will color those as well with my alcohol markers. Now with the magic of um, video editing uh, you will see that all the images are now colored and I have lined up the lights for my tree as well as the garland for my window. So I'm applying um, Versamark ink here and uh, then I will apply gold embossing powder to add a touch of uh, shine and sparkle on my card. I always like to add sparkle on uh, holiday cards. And I'm using my heat gun to melt the embossing powder. And at this stage I would suggest to stamp the sentiment or to emboss the sentiment, which is something that I forgot to do here, but I ended up doing it later without making a mess. Now I have already uh, colored the gifts and I'm using my scissors to cut them out. You can of course stamp them, dire stamp them directly on top of your panel, but I wanted to um, lift them and pop them on my card just to add some dimension. So I'm just using my scissors to cut them out, leaving a white border all around. Now this window panel is perfect to create a shaker card, so this is exactly what I'm going for today. I'm going to add some glue at the back of my panel and I'm going to stick on top a piece of acetate. Now also if you notice the die cuts out those three little stars at the top and I want to have some gold cardstock shining through at the background. So I am adding some glue all around those stars at the back. I'm going to cut out uh, little pieces from this gold cardstock and cover them up. And here is how it looks at the front. And just when I was about to create that uh, foam pocket at the back to add uh, the sequence, I remembered that I didn't stamp a sentiment. So here I am stamping my sentiment with Versamark ink. I'm going to apply the same gold embossing powder on top and heat set it. This is a step that you need to do before you add the acetate, preferably, because if you heat set it too much, it might warp and uh, burn. Everything worked fine in the end, but uh, better safe than sorry. Anyway, now I'm adding some uh, uh, confetti, white confetti, to be the snow on my window. As you can see, I have went all around to create a little pocket of foam. And uh, the snow I'm using is actually by Nuvo. You will find uh, down below the links to everything I'm using, by the way. Now I'm going to peel off all that tape and I'm going to place on top a little piece of uh, light blue cardstock that I have, which is going to make the sky. So if I turn it at the front, you can see that I have the snow falling outside. I place this panel on top of a four and a quarter by five and a half card and now I'm going to finish it off by adding my gifts. For a couple of the gifts I'm using glue. For the third one, I'm going to use a foam square at the back, just to add some dimension. 
Now, don't forget this is part of a blog hub. There are lots of giveaways and uh, inspiration, so make sure to visit my blog. Now, I'm adding some finishing touches here, just some uh, Nouveau Drops gold for his buttons, and my card is ready. Here are some close-up photos on the card. Don't forget, you will find the full list of all the supplies that I used down below in the description area, as well as on my blog. Thank you all so much for watching and have a lovely weekend.